What in the flippity jippin' are these? Those are $5 mystery bags that I got at my local retro game stop. And we're going to find out what's in them together. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, rascals? I figured I'd do an unboxing video of sorts, considering they're not in boxes, but still, I wanted to share the experience of finding out what's in these bags with you guys. Now, don't panic. These aren't from a shady back alley deal with Junkie Mike. These are leftovers from a Black Friday sale at Super Smash Games in Tacoma, one of my favorite retro game stores to hang out at. Yes, surprise, surprise, not only do I like indie games, but I'm a retro game junkie as well. I can't help myself, I like the old stuff, it's nostalgic. That, and if these are any good, I, they might end up in a future Let's Play. Mm -hmm. And though I don't know what games they are, I do know what game systems they're for. Because, yeah, they are, it's, it's written on the back. And so, without further ado, let's start with the system I have the least amount of games for. See if these guys are worth keeping around. Or if, what if they end up being nothing but sports games? Ugh. Nothing wrong with it liking sports games, it's just they're not for me. But, what do we... As I was saying that... Game Day 98. Pass. Shooter Starfighter San Vein. I have no idea what this is like. What is this? What is it about? Space action where it's you against the clock. Now, I don't have a whole lot of experience with PlayStation because I was in the N64 camp when I was a kid. But this seems like one of those cheap knockoff games that you'd find at Target for two bucks in a bin. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Tetris Plus. That'll be good, like, little mindless thing to play around with on my spare time, I guess. Cool. I'll keep that one. Hopefully, we got a good one with this guy. The games for the Xbox 360. What do we... Oh, okay, I'm already... I'm already regretting all decisions. Connect Adventures? No wonder they were in the mystery bags. They can't get rid of these if they even... wanted it. But, oh. Why is it always two out of three? Got one crap game at the at the beginning, and then you got two beauties. Forza 2. Ah, I likes me a good racing game every now and then. And then, Fable 2. Wait, do I already have that one? No, I got the original Fable. What? Okay, so yeah, I got my own copy of Fable 2. Finally, I can I can just hear people going. <gasps> He's never played Fable. That's a lie. I have played Fable, but it was never my own copy. I unfortunately didn't have the chance to have my own Xbox 360 until maybe a couple years ago. My brother was generous enough to let me play every once in a while on his copy and on his console. So I have played the game before. I just never owned it. Last, but not least, and probably my all-time favorite game system of all time. NES, the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, what, what are you getting? I like the older game systems. It's like my I've 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 mentioned this a couple times in other videos, but uh, I grew up with an NES because my dad got one when I was like super little, gave it to me. And while all my friends were playing the modern stuff, I still had my NES and I loved the crap out of it. And then I finally was like, I'd like an N64, please. Let's see what kind of games we got. Please, no sportsy game games. Ooh! That's one I'd never expected to see in my own collection. Fester's Quest. You know, I've never played it. Not surprising, there are very few NES games that I play in their extensive library. So I'm not only like nostalgia nerding it up by getting all these games, I'm experiencing them for the first time too. Awesome. What's next? 
Uh, golf? Why is there always gonna be a sports? What are you? Whoosh! Super Glove Ball. I have absolutely no use for this game. I mean, except to like frame it and say that I have it. I don't even have a. I don't even have a power glove. I've never owned a power glove. I don't think I've ever known anyone who's owned a power glove. Still, I've got five new games that I've that I'm interested in checking out, and four games I'm not entirely sure if I'm even going to keep. Well, I don't think anyone would actually want Connect Adventures. I mean, that would mean having a Connect. And like I said, I'm not much of a sports game kind of a guy. Though Christmas is coming, and I'm sure somebody wouldn't mind this as a gift. Hmm. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you didn't mind it. And who knows, maybe some of these games have a warm spot in somebody's heart out there. Let me know in the comments. Share some stories. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.